So now we're at a point within the program that I like to go ahead and take a look and see what material I have left. So what I like to do is just highlight the entire setup. You'll see I have now I have the representation of my stock there. And I'm going to hit my simulation tab. Now this being our first time we're going to look at the simulation, we're going to get a lot of information. You'll see that the entire toolpath has shown up. And once again, we're in our typical top down left right kind of order of things now within the, the the display what I do like to do is is I like to take the toolpath and turn it to tail that way when I first run my toolpath it only shows the toolpath just after the cutter now at the bottom of the screen this is probably one of the more important parts of the verification is you'll notice all these little red hash marks what these red hash marks are are colli collision notifications and it's using that based off of the actual holder now the, our cutter is not big enough so this is where I've already run into something that I need to troubleshoot and that's the the default tool that I've created for this three quarter inch end mill is not long enough to perform what I needed to perform so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my catalog look up a new tool and instead of coming into the tool path and change again, I'm going to actually come into the tool library and change everything all at once just by changing the cutter definition itself. Instead of the inch and a half, this is actually going to be a two and a half inch cutter, three inches out of holder. I'm going to select OK. And you'll see that these toolpaths have now read X. I don't have to go in and change anything, though. All I need to do is highlight those two toolpaths and hit generate, and they'll regen with the new tool lengths. Now I can go into simulate, and you'll notice no red hash marks at the bottom. That means that we're free and clear of gouges. So now that I've seen that I had a gouge, I've corrected an, it's an incident, I can go ahead and turn the stock material on and see just what material is being removed. Now by default this new setup actually has you going into what is set up as the stock itself. I actually like changing this to the tool so that it changes from colors with each tool that I use. That way I have a little information on what tool I'm using visually and can see where material is a little bit better the mode itself I'm going to leave to standard and now I'm going to go ahead and rewind this toolpath and this is simple VCR control with speed anything on the right side of the hash mark is forward and it's important that you know anything on the left side of the hash mark is actually a reverse it's going backwards keep that in mind as you move forward I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the middle hit rewind I have a full stock push play maybe I want to go a little faster on this Now I have adequate flute length and adequate material removal around that part. 